Hi and welcome back to Arxanger RC. I know this is long overdue, but I finally got around to installing an autopilot in the A1200 and my autopilot of choice is the Micro APM flight controller. All of the accompanying gear is also micro and what was not micro to begin with, I had to rework to fit the scale. Uh, just look how serious I look doing setup of the plane on a laptop over a telemetry link. This is some serious stuff. So, long story short, the autopilot works and does its job. I have to say I feel much better and a lot calmer when flying a plane that I know can automatically return to home if the link is lost. After takeoff, my first task was to trim the plane out in manual mode and then to verify that the stabilized modes and the return to home function work properly, which they do. The next task was to program an auto mission and let the plane fly itself while I go chasing after it with my Phantom. Now, I have to report that this was also a success. In order to make it easier for me to chase the plane, I programmed it to fly as slow as I felt comfortable with. And I also limited the banking angle the, the autopilot should do during turns I have tested the A1200 and I know it is pretty much impossible to make it stall especially in a stabilized mode but still better safe than sorry after all the mission was taking place only 20 meters off the ground so if something went wrong I would not have had time to react and get the A1200's remote I was actually pretty surprised by the performance of the autopilot because this time around I didn't do anything to cover the barometer and it did pretty darn good maintaining that altitude. On the other hand, the same autopilot in my XUAV clouds has an enclosure and some foam on the barometer and in auto missions it was uh, jumping up and down around 10 meters which made it quite difficult to chase with the Phantom. And here you can even see it for yourself. I am flying the Phantom almost at a fixed altitude with very small changes and the plane is flying pretty much spot on at its target altitude because there is visibly no change in that. So yeah, this plane is designed pretty well and that is critical. Add to that a proper autopilot and it really starts to shine even more. I just love it. I love how slow it can fly. I love how stow resistant and stable it is. I love how portable it is and how easily it can be disassembled and put away in its box in under two minutes. It just comes together to make for an outstanding plane and I would say with better flight characteristics than the Hubson H301S. One of the main reasons for this being the longer flight times and the versatility of the design. I just love those connectors and how you only need to snap the parts together and tighten two bolts. To be honest, I don't understand why XK are not offering the A1200 with a proper autopilot with the return to home function. You know, it doesn't take a lot to clear up a few issues and make a system that actually works reliably for everyone, not just for some people as is the case with the Hubson. It is not rocket science. Would be interesting if uh, this ever happens actually and on the topic of flying slowly this car was driven by someone who was learning to drive and I was able to safely slow down the plane to be able to follow it no matter how fast or slow it was going I really love this plane it is so versatile the only issue I had was with the camera control but more on that a bit later. Next on my agenda was to finally take advantage of having proper return to home functionality on this bird and go long. I, was, I wasn't sure how long I would be able to go with the FSK XSR receiver mounted on board but I had to try. So after recharging the battery and throwing the plane back in the air I headed away from me in some direction to see how far I would make it since the XSR has telemetry, I was able to monitor my radio link on the Tyrannis and the receiver started to really complain a lot around 2 kilometers out, at which point I made a turn but did not return. Instead, I took a leisurely flight over the nearest village. Now, it would be a good time to show you the issues I had with the camera controls or to tell you about them because I can't really show you. 
Some of you may know that theoretically the camera should be controllable from the radio so I connected it to the flight controller and set up a two position switch on the Tyrannis to start and stop video recording or at least that is how I thought it should work. Sadly this is not how it works apparently so I will have to look into it more. Long story short, I start the recording manually on the ground and at some point during the flight the recording stops all on its own without me touching the, the dedicated switch for the camera. Then at some point it would start recording again all on its own. The only thing the switch does is to take photos but that is not really indicated on the screen when looking at the camera's video feed only video recording is indicated and that doesn't seem to be affected by flipping the switch so as you're cruising along the camera would just stop recording and sadly it did so here just before I reached the frozen lake also since I mistakenly deleted the DVR recordings of the flight I can't show you how that looks like on recording but I hope you get my idea so apparently the camera is not controlled by the switch's extreme positions but possibly needs a three position switch neutral is in the middle to one side it records video to the other it records fo it takes photos I will test that out and let you know how it works my only regret is not installing an OSD the first time around but I will remedy that situation as soon as possible in conclusion I will say that giving the right components this plane is definitely worth the hassle of upgrading with an autopilot and uh, if some of you are willing I'd say do it so this A1200 update is now at its end if you have enjoyed this video and found it useful feel free to give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to see the autopilot installation in more details you can follow the link to my blog in the video description below. I would say fly safe and I will see you later.